Hi all, hope you're doing great today. It's today I would be helping you, assisting you to understand the navigation in Dynamics CRM. So usually when as a beginner, when you uh, set up a trial instance of Dynamics CRM and you open it for the first time, the confusion which comes or the thing which we need to decide is which tile should we click in. So these are the different model driven apps which have been configured in your application and based upon your roles and permission you would be able to see different different model driven apps in my application i have set up the trial instance for sales and thus it has sales hub sales team member sales trial customer service customer service hub and customer service workshop as the model driven apps and now today let's explore the sales hub the navigation in the sales hub the navigation across the different model driven apps in Dynamics CRM remains the same. That is on the left side of yours, you would see all the tables or all the uh, availability of functionalities out in there. On the top, this menu bar remains the same that which includes a quick search, a quick create and advanced sub. Based upon your roles and configurations, you would be able to explore the advanced settings. Now on towards your left side, if you can see, you can see different tables. Like let's say I have a group customer under which I have grouped sub two subgroups that is account and contacts. Again, I have sales followed by lead opportunities and competitors, collaterals, quotes, order, invoice, product, sales literature. Now what exactly happens is the database, the primary storage, which we call as data words in terms of dynamic CRM or power platform includes multiple tables now based upon your requirement let's say i as a sales manager i want to see specific tables out in there you as being a system administrator you want to see more tables out in there and so we designed multiple model driven apps on the same table structure to give a user a best experience and nothing else each model driven app can have its own functionalities own navigation but the lookout remains the same that is towards your left you would be able to see the list of tables towards on the top you would be able to see the same buttons that is uh, quick search quick create advanced search settings and few other options out in there now let's open the lead table out in here on the lead table it's loading for us so we would be seeing couple of things out in there and let me explain each of these so first thing is the views we call it as views reason stated if you can if you are coming from the background of sql what exactly is a view a view is a predefined query in sql which we can execute any instant of time now what exactly it does is it gets triggered and it pulls out the record based upon the criteria which you have passed in dynamic crm we do have multiple pre-configured views as well as it gives you a flexibility to design a view of your choice let's say we click on all leads the moment we click on all leads what it exactly does it it executes a query in the database or dataverse we can we can call it as dataverse through which this data is being pulled out and being shown to you on the screen now there is a lot of flexibilities in there like you can design your own queries the columns could be configured based upon your requirement the width of the columns can be configured based upon your requirement but our objective is to see the navigation in this video so now let's say i want to open a new record or i want to open an existing record the moment i would click on it it would be showing me the record altogether and on the top you would be seeing multiple buttons out in there like save save and close plus new delete refresh check access qualify processes connect multiple other buttons the buttons on the top keep on changing based upon the table or the entity you are opening or the record you are opening below this you have a business process flow now what exactly is a business process flow a business process flow is nothing but a guided step which will assist your users in the organization to fulfill a record or to create a new record based meeting the basic requirements of the business let's say i am working with an organization which deals in selling cars so i would be designing a business process flow so that a person anyone who gets onboarded to our team and wish to create a record they can simply go to this business process flow can fill in these basic details 
at least which can help us to get more meaningful data from the users now let's say me and you are in a discussion and i want to create a record quickly and i am not interested in going through this navigation that is i would be going to leads clicking on plus new which opens a big form so as to overcome the same microsoft has released this feature of quick create where a quick form would be there you can design this form based upon the requirements which will help you to create a record instantaneously without much of the data or much of the attributes out in there definitely this record would be saved into same lead table and you can open this record later on through your navigation which i have explained that is lead just selecting a record of your choice and then opening it and filling in the data out in there so this is a basic difference between a quick create creation and a creation of a record through the uh, traditional navigation i can call it now let's see you have created a record and the most important aspect is to search that record so in dynamic crm we do have three types of search first thing is you know that this is the table and this is the view in which i want to search a record so you can simply search a record something like clicking on here so it will search the record what if i don't know which table and what column does it contain let's say that is for quick search so quick uh, this is global search sorry so global search will search the records across all the tables which have been configured with the columns out in there let's say i entered sumit and it's pulling out my record from users table these are the tables which have been configured for the global search and each of the column in the global search can be configured like which columns has to be considered while searching a record which is the most important let's say my business says phone number is something over which users would be trying to search the record uh, like record and since this column has not been configured so it's giving as an exception or an error saying no result found make sure all the records are spelled correctly or you could try finding a different keyword let's say i say give me all the records with aa or star aa see it is it's showing me records out in there what if as an advanced user i want to define my own search criteria my own filter query how should i do it and for that microsoft gives us this unique feature that is this funnel over which when you click it will be opening an advanced search in advanced search you have 100% flexibility like it it comes with 100% flexibility wherein you can design a query of your own based upon the columns with multiple criteria so let's say account name contains sumit not sumit let's say aa with account number is this it contains data where record created on created on today or in last last 10 days and we want to group all these records all together let's say this 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 and we want to group it as or so let's see how many records we get it yeah we got on all these records so till now we have covered the navigation towards our left or towards on the top along with the advanced one now let's go ahead and let's try doing or searching the records in some other app out in there let's say instead of sales serve i clicked on sales team member it would be also having the same navigation that it's towards your left all the tables which have been configured towards on your top you would be having the same things that is global search quick create advanced search along with settings now i would be taking you back to few other functionalities out in there like let's say i have a dashboard so i click on home it will give me a dashboard if the dashboard has been configured in this app that has not been configured so let's go to the sales app so in here you can see a dashboard has been configured dashboard is nothing but a sort of visual representation of the data in the application to meet up your expectations so that your manager or you know at what point at what instant you are having you have achieved what and what not now if you want to flip it over in the sales hub you have different different settings out in there different different Uh, categories or groups or uh, we can call it let's say we want to configure some app settings so do we do have other tables out in there we can have sales insights settings we can have personal settings based upon our requirement 
but usually a user a normal user would be having all this access now being a system administrator if you would be clicking on advanced settings you would be able to see the configurations of dynamic crm now there are two ways or now these days they have two platforms or two user interfaces for all these configurations which we would be covering in the next upcoming discussions but this is how a sales uh, this is how a system administrator sees the dynamic crm now let's take it from the example from the perspective of a sales manager let's say a person which is having only the sales manager role what all he would be seeing so in his application see he based upon his configurations based upon the settings he is only able to see sales hub that is the only model driven app which which is visible to him same navigation that is towards its left all the tables on the top all those buttons and then he can open a lead table and based upon his roles and permission he would be able to see a record of his choice now if they click on advanced settings you would be seeing a little less configurations which are visible to them reason stated they are not the system admin they are the people who are just the users of the application and so a restricted permission is given to them for configuring this application so that was all for the navigation in dynamic crm so just don't get confused what to open and what not the thing is the first style that is these are all the model driven apps which are accessible to you based upon your roles and configuration all these uh, model driven apps interact with the same database same tables in the background only the thing is the functionality the business process keeps on changing if you are opening a sales hub then it it would be more towards um, it would be more towards inclined towards a sales process which is towards making a positive sales to the customer if you are opening the customer service then it would be of more inclined towards offering the services to the customer and that's all for this video i would be coming up with more content in the upcoming discussions thank you and have a great day